Friends, today I'm going to be doing my second glossy box unboxing for the month of February. This is actually the cutest box ever. It's a Valentine's themed one, so I'm so excited to open this for the second time because if we're being honest here, I got excited and I already opened it. I know I'm terrible, but still it's fun. You guys get to see what's inside. Glossy Box is a monthly subscription service and it's around $20 a month, so I'll have it linked down below if you wanna check it out. And let's just go ahead and get started. So the box has a bunch of pink roses this time instead of like their normal like light pink and brown box, so so cute. And then it comes with the card like always. We've got some fun Valentine's themed items and this is honestly so much better than last month, so this one rocks. The first thing we have in here is the unwashed bio cleansing conditioner. This is just like a normal conditioner and it says that it locks in natural oils and color free of harsh sulfates and parabens and it's also moisturizing and non-strip cleanser so it's not going to strip everything off your hair. This is about a fifth of the normal size so I think it's a pretty decent sample and it smells really good and clean like you know that typical clean scent. This is what it smells like. I actually haven't used this yet, but I'm totally excited to. Next thing in here is a full-size julep nail polish, and I've never actually tried a julep nail polish, so I was so soaked when I saw this. It's a really cute Valentine's Day top coat. It has some hearts and sparkles in it, so I think this would be really pretty over like a light pink or even like a red nail polish for Valentine's Day. These are actually $14, so they're pretty expensive nail polish, so I'm wondering if they're good. I guess I'll tell you guys if I like this. The next thing in here actually comes in the cutest packaging. It's a Tinty's Lip Butter in pink, and it's in this really cute little box, so let's see what it looks like. It's a super cute little like vintage container, so you can feel all cool whenever you're applying your lip balm. So I guess this is just like a tinted chapstick kind of thing. That's what it actually looks like, so I think it's a pretty good color payoff for like a lip balm because usually stuff like this is completely sheer and has no color, so. It smells really, really good and this is honestly so cute. I thought this was perfume when I first opened it, but. We've got two more things in here. This is the Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil Foaming Shower Gel Sensation. Now, I did try this and it's kind of just like a foaming body kind of wash type thing, but it smells really good. It's really sweet and it's really hard to describe. I don't really like know how to describe the scent of this. But this is a huge bottle. This is definitely a full size. Yes, this is a full size and it's $15. Super stoked for that. And the last thing in here is an actual like makeup product, which besides lip balm, I haven't seen yet. Um, it's the Jelly Pong Pong. Fairy Lashes Mascara Curls, so. The packaging honestly isn't all that cute. I mean, you know, compared to everything else, like the lip balm, but uh, the brush is like a soft bristle one, if you know what I'm saying, and it looks like a pretty black one, so. I guess I can't really say if I like this or not because I haven't used it yet, but I love new mascaras, and I feel like mascara is something that you always need because they're always running dry or whatever. This is actually a $22 mascara, so. I'm assuming it's a good brand. I've never tried Jelly Pong Pong. I've actually never tried like any of these brands, so really excited. Um, I'll let you guys know if I like this or not in maybe a favorites video or something. That is everything for my glossy box. I'm sorry if this was kind of a short video. I kind of just wanted to show you guys this month's box because I'm gonna be doing these for a little while, I believe. Make sure to let me know any requests that you guys have because this coming weekend, I've already planned that I'm going to film a ton for you guys and I think I may be doing a morning routine possibly. So like this video if you'd like to see another morning routine for me or if you just enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Funny how it seems like yesterday. Cause I